It's Tuesday, September 3rd, 2013. I'm Paul Joseph Watson. This is InfoWars Nightly News. Tonight, serious chemical weapons turn out to be sodium fluoride, the same used in the U.S. water supply. Then, as the military revolts against Obama, the mainstream media claims it's nothing but a hoax. And even Rush Limbaugh thinks the Syrian conflict could be a frame job. Looking here at, at, a, at a frame job. Alex Jones reports. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. And you better pray to God they don't get this through. Top story tonight, Obama's Syria attack resolution authorizes boots on the ground. President Obama today claimed that there would be no U.S. troops in Syria, telling reporters, this is not Iraq, this is not Afghanistan. However, Harvard Law School professor Jack Goldsmith warns that the White House's draft resolution for military intervention, which Congress is set to vote on, of course, next week, is so broad that it would authorize boots on the ground as well as regime change and open-ended war throughout the entire region. The proposed AUMF focuses on Syrian WMD, but is otherwise very broad. It authorizes the president to use any element of the U.S. armed forces and any method of force rights. Goldsmith. The AUMF also contains no time limit for when this mandate expires without further congressional approval. So it creates this open-ended war that would, quote, quote, permit the president to use military force against any target anywhere in the world, including Iran or Lebanon, as long as the president, in his discretion, determines that the target has, no, has a connection to WND and the Syrian war. So remember that Kerry and other officials in the State Department have made it clear that if Congress votes no, Obama is going to go ahead and order the attack anyway. Obama was again asked that question today, he kind of evaded it. But as we've seen with the wider war on terror, everything that Congress green lights, whether domestically or in the context of foreign affairs, inevitably gets used for far broader intentions than it was originally justified for. So the question remains, of course, is Obama using this congressional vote as an exit strategy for his potentially embarrassing uh, step back with his red line rhetoric? Or, as Obama himself and other State Department officials have indicated, does Congress even matter since the decision to act to attack Syria has already been made anyway? And The Hill published an article today which indicates, in fact, that Congress will vote no on military intervention in Syria at the current, uh, the, they did a, an estimation of the, the nays and the yeses in Congress. Coming up, about 31 Congress members are going to vote no compared to 13. That's confirmed the rest are undecided. So will we see another convenient attack in the meantime to sway that vote? It remains to be seen. Moving on, MSN claims military revolt against Obama a hoax. The mainstream media has responded against Barack Obama's plan to attack Syria by claiming that the viral I didn't join Twitter trend is a hoax invented by pro-Assad hackers. So, you know, despite the fact we've seen numerous veterans and active duty soldiers holding up signs on Twitter expressing their vehement opposition to military intervention in Syria, in addition to the tweets, of course, the plethora of tweets received by Congressman Justin Amash uh, making the same sentiments, the International Business Times came out with an article today and basically said that the photos, the tweets, were the work of Syrian hackers, quote, impersonating U.S. military personnel. Of course, on the face of it, that's completely ludicrous. The original image of the naval officer expressing his image to, to the attack on Syria, which, of course, we featured on Sunday, has been verified. We know his name. We know that he's an active duty petty naval officer. And then you, you have, of course, all the other images of veterans and current active duty military personnel doing the same thing. But what I'm seeing from this now is actually Obama apologists hijacking this meme in order to claim that those in the military who oppose the attack on Syria are cowards. That's right. That's what they're saying at the moment, trying to hijack this meme. You know, is it cowardly to put your whole career on the line because you feel so strongly about an issue as these active duty and military veterans have done? Is it cowardly to oppose fighting on the side of terrorists who have killed their friends in Iraq? And, you know, if this became part of the national debate, then actually derail the attack on Syria. 
There's obviously a huge public interest element to this story. It's gone viral on Twitter and Facebook. Yet, just as last week's story about the rebels in Ghouta admitting that they were responsible for the chemical weapons incident, this has received virtually no mainstream media coverage whatsoever. So, again, we see the primary control mechanism of the corporate media at work, which is censorship via omission. Nobody's covered this apart from Infowars and, of course, Russian state media, seemingly the pioneers of questioning interesting media, whereas the likes of CNN, ABC, USA Today, the lot of them completely ignore it. So we're going to keep up the pressure. And if you're active duty military, we're calling on you to send your I didn't join images to real Alex Jones on Twitter and we'll continue to try and force the media to cover this. But a lot of Obama apologists now trying to hijack the meme, claiming that everybody who opposes the attack on Syria who is in the military are cowards. Like that, the ultimate patriots. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because. Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid.